In this video, I'm going to show you how to build out a Gantt chart within Microsoft Project. Well, it's extremely simple to do so. What you need to do is open up a blank project in Microsoft Project, and you're going to be shown this default screen where we have the timeline, the table, and the Gantt chart on the right hand side. So to build out your Gantt chart, it's actually dynamic. All I need to do is put the names of my tasks in and it'll actually build it out for me on the fly. You can see there are a number of different Gantt charts. I'm actually in the tracking Gantt right now. I can go to the Gantt chart. And in here, you'll be able to use the most basic Gantt chart. I'm going to show you some of the other Gantt charts down the line that you can find by clicking on the Gantt chart drop down from the view ribbon, more views, and you'll see a different selection of Gantt charts here. We'll take a look at those shortly. So to build the Gantt chart, it is actually dynamic based on the tasks that you put into the table on the left-hand side. So for example, I'm going to call this phase one of my project, right? And then within there, we're going to have tasks. So we've got selection of tasks and some milestones. On the right-hand side, that looks very basic, right? Uh, it's, each one of these indicates a day's work starting from today. And what I can do is actually come in here and adjust some durations. Make them five days. And milestones, we're going to make those zero days. And you'll see on the Gantt chart, it immediately becomes a diamond, which represents a milestone. Now, phase one is actually supposed to be a summary task. It's a Microsoft project thing. I can actually indent the tasks by going to the task ribbon and then using the indent task button. And then that'll actually indent the task underneath phase one. So that actually then becomes a summary task, summarizing the tasks within it. So you see your phase is five days. Now, if I was to increase this task here to six days, then it would summarize that this phase is taking six days. That's because these tasks are not currently linked. I'm actually going to quickly link those now so we can see how the Gantt chart's building out nicely. Uh, I've got other videos on how to link tasks. Just take a look and subscribe to my channel. And uh, in fact, I'm going to go view and then entire project. It's one of my favorite buttons, which adjusts the time scale of the Gantt chart view to fit all the tasks that I currently have within the Gantt chart window that I've made available using the splitter bar here. So there we go. That's how we build out a very simple Gantt chart. Now we can continue to build out our project schedule using the, the table on the left-hand side and the Gantt chart will build out dynamically. I can actually remove the Gantt chart at any time and it'll be out of sight and I can bring it back at any time. It's always there in the background being updated. It's dynamic based on the data within the table. Let's take a look at the tracking Gantt now. So this one actually is slightly different, right? It's looking at the progress of our tasks. You know, if I was to mark this one as 50% complete here, you can see the progress. You can see the summary task is also showing the progress. If this particular project had a baseline, it would show me that as well. If I click set baseline, I have another video on setting baselines as well. Take a look, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if I now increase the duration of this task beyond the baseline, you can see where the baseline is percent complete of that task and how the overall project has pushed out slightly. So that's how we build out a Gantt chart in Microsoft Project. If you want to learn more, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Please leave